Forspoken is getting bombed on badly right now. And I cannot fathom why I'm, I'm so surprised because the demo was actually pretty good. And I, I'm... Come on, man. Are y'all surprised by this, bro? Are y'all surprised? Really? Really? You knew this game was hot dog water when y'all played the demo. I know it. I know y'all did. Who expected this game to get good, good reviews? Come on, man. Forspoken should have came with a treadmill because that's all you're getting in this game is cardio. There is nothing good about this game but the parkour. The dialogue was written by Amy Schumer. It did not hit on anything. I mean, it was just a complete disaster, bro. And I, that's just that's just me talking off the demo. I, my God, if y'all if y'all paid seventy dollars for this game, may God be with. Salute the Square Enix for such a bold marketing strategy because you guys knew that this game was not good. And, and y'all still put that demo out when we rarely get demos in next gen anyways? That's a bold marketing strategy. Me? I wouldn't do it. But hey, Grand Enix told everybody, hey, look, brother, sisters, keep your money in your pocket. We don't need it. We don't want it. We don't deserve it. Dead Space comes out three days after us. Go enjoy that. But if you're a sucker, we'll lick you. Give, you a give us the $70 and uh, yeah, try to have fun with this mess. IGN's review. Forspoken's flashy combat and parkour can be fun, but they aren't enough to make its cliché story and bare-bones open world very interesting to explore. Now, that this old Wizard of Oz story does not hit in 2023. 20, it wouldn't hit in 2006. It wouldn't hit in 2010. It's such an outdated way to, to tell a story. Oh, the big city girl gets transferred to this la-la world and everything. That mess is trash, bro. And that's trash. Now, where y'all met, where y'all missed the mark at, listen to me, Square Enix. I, y'all, I still love y'all. Y'all gave me one of my favorite games of all time, Near Automata. I still love y'all. But listen here, make a director's cut this time, bring the New York style into it. You know what I'm saying? Give her a New York Yankee fitted, give her a, a giant rat as, as a sidekick, and give her a size 10 Timberland boot, and then. That's how the combat works. You know, you use the... You know what I'm saying? It, that would have been better. You bring some of the New York into the La La Land. Game spot. Forspoken is visually stimulating. That's debatable. A, and a musical delight. But boring combat, poor characterization, and loose movement mechanics make, a mediocre, make for a mediocre experience. Now, I feel like the combat is like split down the middle with people. Some people think the combat is so good which I don't understand. I don't know what's wrong with you. Uh, most of the weapons in the combat, you don't even really need to use. And and I, I wish I could name y'all the stuff. I do, I erased that game from my head. Like my experience with Forspoken was like my experience when I was like 12 and 13 and I seen two girls in one cup. You know, them first five seconds, you was like, oh shoot, all right. And then the train just flew off the rails and you just got disgusted and just like, man, what the what the hell is going on? You know what I'm saying? That's how I felt with this game. I, I was disgusted. I wanted to throw up. Not a good time. But the combat, bro, it doesn't have like this feedback. It's not fun. I don't feel like I'm doing anything great when I'm when I'm fighting, bro. It it, it feels so weird. It's non-responsive. Like, I'm just hitting these buttons, and then I'm just not getting the stimulation. Like, oh, man, this I'm having fun. I'm doing something. I'm whooping ass or something like that. It's, come on, bro. I, like, it wasn't good. I don't like the way they did it. Games Radar Review. Forspoken shines brightest when its protagonist is dipping, ducking, and diving alone in the generally striking world of Athea. While casting a variety of spells, but the standard fish-out-of-water fantasy story of Frey only subtracts from the experience. Like I said, it's an outdated concept. For a story it is not wizard this is not the wizard of oz time we're, we're not we don't have black and white televisions um it, it, it's just not gonna work anymore you get what i'm saying the best thing about forespoken and it's not even debatable it's just the skipping alone the whole world the the the, the whole empty world can you imagine just imagine you getting off a hard day of work. I don't know what, how many hours y'all work. Some of y'all work 10, some work 8, some work 12. So y'all might work 15. You feel what I'm saying? Imagine getting off, kicking your feet up, you put Forspoken in, and you just running all dang day. All day. Just all day. That's what you came home to play. Just like I don't get how people came home to play Death Strand. This, this is, this should have been paired with Death Strand. Death Train and been a cardio pack, and it should have included a treadmill and a lifetime gym membership to Fitness 19 or something. That's really all you're doing. You're getting your cardio in with this game, bro. That's it. I'm somebody that always says, play the game. Don't go off the ratings, even if it's bad. Unless you see gameplay and it just steers you away. You know what I'm saying? But don't die hard off the off the ratings. Just go enjoy for yourself.
I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm not playing this shit. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. It, it, it has to be free or it has to be on sale for like $15. I'm not paying money for this, bro. So yes, I definitely will be for skipping this piece of dog crap of a game. I, I, I'm sorry. And I, like, again, I don't really go off ratings, but me playing it for myself, I knew this game was not worth any type of bread. I just knew it wasn't. Look at the year, look at the year we have and look at all the upcoming games coming. We, we got Hogwarts Legacy. We got Dead Space, we got RE4, we got Street Fighter 6, we got Final Fantasy, we got Spider-Man 2, we got Stellar Blade, we got Hades 2. Like, the list goes on. You think I'm going to spend money on Little O's for Spoken? Tink Tink got to do better, bro. Tink Tink ain't earned my money. You feel me? They got the nerds that have a season pass and everything. Square Enix, y'all should be ashamed of yourselves for this, bro. I might get more enjoyment playing Sonic 06, honestly. Like, this game is just not it. If y'all bought this game, I hope y'all enjoy it, bro. Honestly. I hope y'all do, because you know this game is going to garner a small fan base, just like Saints Row did, and they're going to die hard on its meat, and then act like people critiquing the game is the biggest problem in the world, and act like everybody's tripping. Now, first, if you if you even defended Saints Row once, you are a psychopath. I don't know what's wrong with you, but it's nothing wrong if you like a game that everybody else hates. The problem is, is when you tell people they're tripping, because nobody's tripping, you feel me? But expect that to come in the, in the upcoming days, because keep people don't want to be wrong. They're they they, they they're not going to admit to a game being bad. That's just how some people are. It's weird old tendencies, but hey. So when y'all get your hands on this game, if some of y'all did, kudos to y'all. Let me know if y'all enjoy it or not. Me, I'm going to sit on the sideline. I'm going to go play some Dead Space. Um, I'm going to hop back on this Persona get on that Hogwarts Legacy, I'm gonna have a real good time playing actually quality, quality games, you know what I'm saying, I'm not gonna, you know, stoop that low, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, to each his own, no, but seriously, I, I, I hope if you bought this game, good luck to you, and I hope you enjoy it, but, <laughs> but leave a comment in the comment section below, let me know how y'all take off for spoken, are you still excited for it, did you already pre-order it, you psychopath, and, uh, yeah, man, I'll see you guys on the next video, I appreciate every single last one of you guys, thank you so much for the support, I'll catch you guys later, I'm out.